hello welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started then over here i'm using 1080 by 1080 pixels then i'm going to use a gradient over here so as you can see i've already selected the gradient tools and the call and the color code is in the test document now then select your color and i'm going to paste the color over here ctrl plus v to paste then go back to your test document so over here you can see these are the colors i'm using then ctrl plus v to paste then go to your opacity then increase the opacity to 100 percent and click ok to apply the color then now copy the angle then come to the angle here and paste it so you can see how the background color changed to this diagonal location now okay now then i'm going to copy the church name over here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool but before then i'm going to apply this church logo and reduce the size then apply it at the center over here then select your test to ctrl plus v to paste okay then i'm going to change the font color to white and reduce the font size break it then backspace to join this one with this other one then apply center to centralize the test that is center alignment now i'm going to reduce the font size then reduce the spacing and also reduce the font size something like this then apply vertical alignment to centralize it ctrl plus d to deselect then apply a drop shadow so over here you can see the setting here so then click ok reduce the font size then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j and copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool and alight it ctrl plus v to paste then increase the character spacing bring it down then leave it at this position then i'm going to copy this one first and over here this is the test effect i'm going to use you can download it from freepick.com Then you can see the character space in there that is minus 20 now i'm going to close it and save it then hold your sheet plus ctrl plus alt plus e to create a layer for the test so you can see that i have created a layer for it now so the next thing is to drag it over here and uh, reduce the font size
then I will position it over here then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then you can see the edges there you can see a white background there so I'm going to apply my smart object then select brush and clean up those white background over there all right so as you can see now i have removed the white background around the edges then i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then we are going back to our test effect then double click to open the smart object now select your test to highlight it and ctrl plus v to paste it then close it and save it the font i'm using over here is otama ep otama.ep then also do the same thing shift plus ctrl plus alt plus e to create a layer for it and then you drag it to your designing area now reduce the font size then position this one at the bottom around here then we are going to do the same thing by applying a layer mask select brush and clean up this white background area all right so we have done that then you can adjust the position by using your arrow key so now then we are going back to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool then i'm going to draw a rectangle over here and i will change the font to yellow i mean the color to yellow Then go to your property and I'm going to apply a round shape. Then enter 22%. Then to create a round shape like this. Now I'm going to paste my test, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the size and drag it inside the rent angle okay now hold your shift key while you select the test and the rent angle use your arrow key to apply any adjustment and increase the size as you can see so now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j then select your test tool while you alight it, come over here and I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to yellow here. I mean the font color, also change the font to the Jacqueline and increase the size so I'm going to make it bigger like this so that it can be seen very well then also apply I'm going to apply um, a drop shadow on that test over there so that it will pop up so now you can see it more better than before all 
ओके देन वी आर गोइंग टू द बैकग्राउंड नाउ देन आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई दिस ब्रश at the bottom over there then hold your shift key while you drag it down all right so it's okay like this so now the next thing to do now then we are going to copy this one for the date then zoom in then import this icon for for the date then rasterize it control plus u for hue and saturation and i'm going to apply a color like this so i need to change the color so that the color can blend with the background a little so something like this now also i'm going to to change the font to otama.ep so that is the font i use for the test effect so sorry i was a bit faster here now i'm going to change the font color something like this All right. Then go to your test document and I'm going to copy again. Then select your test to control plus V to paste and reduce the size. Then you drag it and position it over here. Then use your arrow key then to move it up. Then copy this one. Control plus C to copy. And select your test tool. Or I'm going to duplicate this one. Control plus J to duplicate. Then I will drag it down and position it around here. Then highlight it. Control plus V to paste. Remove this one. All right. Now I'm going to reduce the size of the font to make it a little like this. Then increase the size. So this is okay. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle at the center here. Then change the font to yellow. I mean the color. And uh, go to your property and uh, apply a shape put 22 percent or 22 pesos so any hour you call it then import the location icon and reduce the size then i will position it inside the rectangle then come over here to copy the location Select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste.
then change the font color then here I'm going to use a vertical for the font the font color is very light so I'm going to change it okay now apply left alignment then and I'm going to adjust the space here and position your location test so now go and import the time icon reduce the size then select the icon then right click and rasterize it ctrl plus u for hue and saturation then i'm going to colorize it and blend the color to also match with the other color then click OK then I'm going to copy the time then over here I'm going to duplicate this one Ctrl plus J to duplicate and drag it to be at the top then you drag it over here hold your shift key while you drag it so that it will be in in alignment with order then control plus v to paste also copy this one control plus c to copy then you duplicate this one control plus j select your test tool and highlight it Ctrl plus V to paste. Now reduce the font size. All right, so we have to increase it a little. Hold your shift or your control key while you select it before you adjust it. So now we are done with this one, especially the test. So now I'm going to select it and group it together. So now we are going to work on the background. Having completed and done with the test, so we are going to work on the background now. So over here, I'm going to import this image here. Then you drag it up. Okay. Then go to your filter, go to blur, Gaussian blur. Then I'm going to make use of this 6.8. Then apply your layer mask and blend it.
Then go back to your resource file. Then now we import this one over here. Then reduce the size and position it at the center here. Okay. Then I will turn this one off, then go back to my background over here. Then import this one. Then right click and rotate it. I mean, uh, flip it horizontal. Then you reduce the size like this. Go to your blending mode and change it to luminosity. Then apply your layer mask, select your brush and blend the bottom here. Then press G to convert it to gradient and blend it. Then I will change it to brush and clean up this area. So it's okay like this. If I use the gradient tool, it's going to affect some part that I don't want. So that is why I have to change it to brush and clean the part that is not going to, I don't want it to affect. So now I turn this one on and drag it down while I will blend all the edges. All right so i will position it at the center then you import this worship image and reduce the size so like this will be okay Now I'm going to rasterize it, then hold your shift plus control and then press U, then to desaturate it, then change the blending mode to luminosity, then it will give you this background color and I'm going to reduce the opacity to 30. Now apply your layer mask, select your brush or your gradient tool and blend it and the top. So, okay like this. So now I'm going to select the layer mask of this first image and apply my blending so that it will not cover part of the area I'm going to blend here. Now I'm going to select this center background then and uh, drag it up so that it can be seen. So now I'm going to, all I'm doing now is to apply some adjustments. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. So now you can see the outcome of this design. Now I'm going to group the background and uh, import this light flare here. 
reduce the size then I will position this one over here then go to a bloody mode and change it to screen then I'm going to duplicate it and I will bring this one over here somewhere here so okay then increase the size a little then group it so that is all about this tutorial thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and uh, share i really appreciate your following thank you so much and uh, also don't forget if you want to optimize your channel then go through the description and uh, register for the two body there is a link there then and uh, you use it to optimize your youtube channel or any other social media channel you are using and if you want to order for any flyer then you will see a fiverr account uh, link over there then you can go through it then register for it and order for any of your graphic design thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it.